former leader of Maendeleo ya Wanawake na Rape, the role they played in the struggle is as critical as that played by men. The role of women they did a lot, I must say that. They were feeding these freedom fighters, they were hiding them in their houses, and uh, those who were able to fight, they were able to fight. Kitoni, who is also the patron of the Maendeleo ya Wanawake organization and a trailblazer in her own right, looks back fondly at the progress women have made over the last 60 years and how valiantly most of them have had to fight to get a seat at the table of leadership and decision making. <laughs> Comparing her time in parliament when women were not allowed to even carry their handbags in parliament and now when the country boasts of a good percentage of women in the house and a woman in the deputy speaker's position, Kitoni says the women who have gone ahead paved the way for those coming behind. Women of Kenya have gotten a lot of kids. I want just to tell Kenyan women that they should be better decorum and demand their rights in the right manner. And when they are in truly leadership positions, let them be mothers and be mothers even when they are in office because the country depends on women and I must tell you that women are good leaders. There's been a lot of change. Women now are in leadership. Women are in, even in the army now, we are having women in the army. Women are everywhere and there's been a lot of change and I attribute that to the good leadership that we've had, especially even during my time in the organization. At midnight, the union jack... When the union jack was lowered and the Kenyans were hoisted, women, like many other Kenyans, had hopes for a new dawn. Just like the men were looking forward to self-rule, Kitoni says a lot of women hoped Kenya's independence would be a basket full of goodies for the women. Starting right with representation in parliament, she bemoans the fact that six decades later, the women of Kenya still don't have fair representation and has a word of encouragement for the women. We are still fighting for 50-50 Kenya. It's among the least countries who have not been able to formalize that. So I ask myself, why? Why now, this time? Because this should have been done. I will just want to challenge my women to say that uh, we can make it, that we can attain the two-third gender without even anything. So women can make it on their own without being coerced. So they should stop listening to other people's voices and mis misadvice. As a pattern shot, she advises women to be their sister's keepers and always endeavor to hold the door open for others to pass through. Make more kids, citizen TV. Now, hundreds of Kenyans flocked various national parks and museums across the country to celebrate Jamhuri Day after the government waived entry, free, entry fees. As Marianne Yamura reports, Kenyans streamed the Nairobi and Lake Nakuru National Parks in Nairobi and in Nakuru County to mark the 60 years of independence. Come back to that story in just a moment um, and show you what that looked like. Um, in fact, the Nata Road was literally jam-packed today. We have that story now for you. Tuesday was unusually busy at the Lake Nakuru National Park in Nakuru Town. A fleet of cars lined up at the park entrance as families made their way to the park some waiting for hours to access the facility. They were all here taking advantage of an announcement by the government four days ago to have Kenyans access parks and museums across the country on Jamhuri Day for free. the big five. Tumona buffaloes, rhinos, tumona warthogs. Those who managed to beat the traffic within the 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. timeline welcomed the move by the government to grant Kenyans free entry to national parks and museums as they were only required to carry their national identification cards. Yes, at least it's other two ways to make sure that it's a good thing. And to make sure that it's a good thing. 
kwa sababu maisha yako juu sasa ndio unaona watu wengi wamekimbilia siku hii tuko huko nakuru tuna enjoy vitu za free asante sana kwa president wetu na tufanyie hivyo siku ya christmas and in nairobi national park in the capital of nairobi city dwellers throng to the park to enjoy their day with their loved ones most of us youth hatuna ile chance ya kuingia kwa park lakini leo tupate ile free entrance kutoa na holiday at least wa waike kila wakati at least Kenya nzoto apate ile opportunity. Tumeingia uko ndani tukaona wanyama wote tukafurahia. Tumeshukuru sana serikali vile imefungua imefanya kitu ya maana. On normal days visitors who tour any park in the country pay between 200 to 1000 shillings for adults and 200 shillings to 400 shillings for children as entry charges. Miriam Nyamura Citizen TV.